Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to take an updated look at Zumo. Now, Zumo was formerly known as Zumo Free Movies and TV. Now it's just known as Zumo Play. The last time we took a look at the service was about four years ago. So I figured it's time we take an updated look at it. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And let's get into it. Okay, everyone. So here we are on our Google TV. And we're going to go ahead and launch the Zumo Play app. Now, this is kind of a live TV type service. So you're going to see it's immediately going to start playing things in the background. And the way we get into our menu is we hit down on the remote. And then we hit down again. And then we actually have to hit down a third time. And then that brings up the full menu screen. And we see right away by default we're taken into the live guide so here we have a lot of different categories very similar to what we would have on like a netflix or other streaming service but this is geared to the live tv side so we have recommended favorites news weather movies and so on and so forth so we have a lot of different live tv options in here then if we go over, we can see we have free movies, TV shows, and then we can also look at exploring networks. The first thing I'm going to do is explore the live guide here. So when we go into the live guide, we immediately have something that we're all familiar with. We have a grid style TV guide and we can see that right now we're on the NFL network. Uh, we can switch to the news channel and if I tap down once, this is going to give me my controls. Now, I really don't have a whole lot of playback controls here on live TV, and I wouldn't expect that I would. We have network info, so we can get more information on the network that we're watching. We can favorite this network, and then we can turn on closed captioning. So I'll turn that on quickly to see what we get here. And there it goes. It started. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Whoops. We can turn that off. And then if we hit down a second time, we get all of our related content. So if we don't want to continue watching whatever it is that we're watching, but we want something that's kind of along the same lines, we can come down here to related and we can scroll through all this stuff and we can find something similar. And then when we go down a third time, obviously we get the full grid guide and then we can go over and get into our menu. And of course we can go forward and see what's coming on in the future. So if I select something that's coming on at 8 p.m. tonight, I don't really get any options like I would get on a paid service where I could kind of record it or whatever like that. I just get the option to tune to the network or get more information about that network. So let's go over here and let's take a look at the free movies. Now, when I go into the free movies, I get a whole bunch of different options here, all the different categories, similar to the way I get it on the live guide. The live TV continues to play in the background, but I get featured most popular Christmas in July, stay out of the water and so on and so forth. Now, just note, folks, some of this may be blurred out to comply with the YouTube community guidelines. And let's go to Christmas in July. Uh, we'll say the, the flight before Christmas. So when I go into a title here, I get the option to play it. I can get an overview. And then if I go down further, I get the most popular movies here listed below it. It's not really a whole lot of options there. If I hit play, I can see that it loads fairly quickly. Not a whole lot of playback controls, but I can play pause. I can restart the title. I can get information about the title. And I can turn on closed captioning. Now, this is a free service, so I don't expect that it's going to be a very robust app. But... It does fit the bill. If you're looking for free content, 
that's going to keep you entertained, I think this is a very good solution. So let's go back to the main menu. And we can also drill down by TV shows. So those were movies. Here we have TV shows. And let's go into the feature and, okay. So on a TV show, we have something very similar to the movie. However, we have multiple seasons here because this is a TV series. We can look at the various different seasons that are available. And we can see for Everybody Hates Chris, the there are four seasons available. And then we can go to each episode of the show. Let's try the first episode here. Of course, we're going to get a commercial in the, in the beginning. This is a free service, so you are going to see ads. We can see the title loads very quickly. And if we go down, we can pause it. And we get very similar playback controls to what we get on the movies. We can pause, restart, and get information about the series and turn on closed captions. So not really a whole lot of options for fast forwarding, rewinding. Although we can fast forward if we go up. It's not very intuitive though. If we go up here into the slider, we can push it over to the right and push it over to the left to fast forward and rewind. So we are able to do that. But I would really like to see it be a little more intuitive by having a fast forward and rewind button because a lot of folks are not going to know to actually experiment and go up here and do that with the remote. But many of my viewers probably will. And lastly, we have networks. And when we go into networks, this offers us the capability to drill down by network. And we get the same list of categories that we get in other areas. So we have news, weather, movies, sports, etc. So I'm just going to stick with most popular. And when I go down here, I get a whole bunch of different networks. Um, Court TV, Ion, Newsmax, NBC News Now, and so on and so forth. We have some weather channels. Um, and then we have movie channels. So... We have a lot of content here on Zumo. So it's nice to know that we can drill down by network as well. Now, one thing I will say about the app is that I would like it to be a little easier to navigate. Although, again, a lot of my viewers will probably be able to figure this out fairly easily. Now, if we go into settings, we can see that we have some very basic settings here. We can turn closed captioning on or off. We can get additional information. These are gonna be all the support emails and, and licenses and privacy policies and so on. We can do text to speech. So if I turn that on, it'll do text to speech. And then we can also personalize our location. Right now it's set to Baltimore. We can change that. Um, and that will change the weather, news, and sports information to be customized to our location. And that's pretty much it, folks. A very simple and basic app. It is completely free, though it is ad-supported. With other services, I've had a lot of my viewers complain about the ads, number and frequency of the ads. But Zumo has a lot of content, so I think that it's a very nice app. I think the good news, folks, is that today you can get a lot of your content for free. There are many free apps like Pluto, uh, Tubi, and Zumo Play here. You could get three, two or three or four different free apps and keep yourself entertained completely for free. You don't necessarily need to pay for TV or entertainment anymore. So I think this is really a good service. I would highly encourage you to try out Zumo Play and see if it keeps you entertained. And if it doesn't, you've got nothing to lose. It's free. Have you used Zumo or do you use it currently? Let us know down in the comments section what you like and dislike about it. Remember to like, subscribe, and then hit the bell so you get notified anytime we add new content. As always, folks, thank you very much for watching.